Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Midweek News. Today is January 18th, 2023, and we've got some interesting pieces of information for you. We're going to start off the day with Boosteroid, which is a Stadia alternative. This is from a company out of the Ukraine, and the thing that caught my eye about this is that you can access the platform via the web, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. The article talks about it having a ways to go. It's still early days for this particular platform, but it's worth taking a look. JDEC is allegedly going to formalize the Dell laptop memory standard, which could see the end of SODIMS. And this new standard is CAM modules. And we don't know if this is actually going to take place. It's all going to, or a lot of it will come down to whether Dell wants a licensing fee from other PC manufacturers. So stay tuned. Take a look at the information that's available and we will uh, see what happens in the next six to 12 months. There's a new release of Mozilla Firefox available, version 109. And one of the big features that they've added is a new unified extensions button. Of course, people are either going to love it or hate it. It seems to be pretty polarized when it comes to things like this. But the progress continues to march forward and they keep bringing out new versions which is great because we need an alternative on the web to Chromium-based browsers. The big news from yesterday is that Apple has announced not only the M2 and M2 Pro Mac Minis, but also uh, M2, M2 Pro, and M2 Max 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pros, and you can jump over to Apple and see how much this might hurt your pocketbook. Neowin has an article on some pretty decent deals on Samsung and Crucial external SSDs. So if you're looking for an SSD to have to augment anything you're doing, this might be the time to take a look. Pika OS, which is a new Ubuntu-based Linux distribution aimed at gamers, uh, is now available uh, based on Ubuntu 22.10. But the secret sauce in this one is that they are using, uh, somewhere down here, they are using a tweaked Linux kernel to allegedly give you better performance for games. This Xanmod kernel, uh, which implements custom settings, patches, and new features to provide a responsive and smooth desktop experience, especially for new hardware. So if you're a gamer and you wanna try your hand at gaming on Linux, this might be a worthy option to take a look at. And finally, the Ryzen 7000 series could finally become affordable as the A620 chipset based AM5 motherboards is going to soon be available. So keep a lookout for boards from Gigabyte and Asus and Hopefully, in the second half of 2023, we will see the AM5 platform and Ryzen 7000 series becoming a little more affordable for the average Joe. And that, my friends, is going to bring us to the end of a rather short midweek news. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.